Let's look closer on the interface, viewports, and panels inside the DAS Studio 4.7. On the top of application, you'll find drop down menus. And you can access them by hover over and left click. And all of these properties you can access directly, and this is full access, or you can access from um, fast access buttons or other panels. So after this, we'll go look closer a little bit on all these properties. Below this, you will find the tabs, and this is represent workflow of the normal uh, when you create, for example, set up actors, word props, add prop, sceneries, and next tab, you can create a pause and animate it. You can go to the light in cameras and end up in a render. You'll notice as I'm going through this tab, our layout is changed. Some tabs does not disappear, they're just hidden. And to display or hide them, almost all tabs, if you rule, uh, make your mouse over and you'll notice right here we have an orange kind of line up here in this color scheme so you can just click on this area and it will hide or display some of those so overall these top tabs they kind of help to create a proper layout and focus on specific area when you work Going to the tabs as well, you'll notice right here we have a fast access bar is changing. You can customize by adding additional fast action, access those icons, but if you don't have them, you can also always access from the top drawn menu. So let's go back to Actor Wardrobes, our first tab. And you'll notice right here we have a two panels on the side which is represent accessing to our libraries and parameters, and we have a viewport on the middle. You can change positions, orientations, or locations of these panels. However, I don't recommend this to do, at least in the beginning, because if you follow these tutorials or other tutorials, many of them will refer to default settings of viewports inside DAS application, and it's make it a little bit easier to access and find right content. In the future, you can always modify layout in a best fit for you. And you can save this inside of Windows workspaces so you can actually go back and reload it if you need it. As example, right here we have the viewport and you notice when I start dragging, I undock this viewport and it's kind of nice because I can move this on a different monitor if you have it, uh, multiple monitors set up. So you can declutter all your workspaces and just concentrate on specific areas. So let's go a double time, click on this stuff icon. So it will bring to full screen and fill up for our viewports. Again, you can maximize in many cases, you can actually drag and select how much of the workspace you can assign. And as we're going to work continuous through our tutorials, we'll start using more and more different properties and you feel a little bit more familiar how to interface work. In some panels, depend on the tab you're currently in, you may have additional sub tabs appearing. For example, if we're going inside, okay, let me expand right here, content library, you'll notice right here on the bottom, we have an additional tab, which we can hide or expand. That's showing us tips, help, or additional information. Additional information will be very useful tab, and mostly when we start working inside our product library and files so we can go and receive additional information based on um, object or scenery we selected so let's look a little bit closer on top navigation bar 